Hey everybody, Hatcher here with gaming news, reviews, and tips, GNRT, and we're back in DCS World checking on some VR settings, and today we're looking at anisotropic filtering. Now that is a mouthful. When it comes to anisotropic filtering, we've got off two times, four times, eight times, and 16 times to choose from. So what does that make? Five different choices. So as per usual, we're actually going to take a look and compare both extremes with anisotropic filtering off and at 16 times. Now, I had to look up what this actually is, and basically uh, what it is, is it reduces blur when you're looking at an object uh, at an oblique angle. And so, uh, and it does take a lot of bandwidth uh, and can be fairly memory intensive. Gotta be honest, when I was in the cockpit taking a look around, uh, I really did not notice much of a difference in performance or in uh, game immersiveness at either setting, to be honest with you. It seemed to be just fine at off, um, and uh, really noticed no difference at 16 times. Uh, my frame rate se seemed to stay the same. I honestly thought that at off, uh, that I could see the little bars and the graphics weren't as good. Uh, I normally play at 4X, and uh, when I switched over to 16X, I saw the exact same thing. So there really wasn't much of a difference uh, that I noticed visually when I was looking at objects as I was flying around in DCS. So what I did is uh, I've taken off from Batumi here and tried to give you a bit of an idea of what things looked like on the ground in Batumi. Uh, very, very similar looking. Uh, then I tried to take the same flight route and flight path as I flew uh, over some land features, looked at some trees and some buildings. And again, I uh, really did not notice any difference in performance in my frame rate uh, or in the visual quality. Uh, then I flew over to the uh, aircraft carrier and landed, take a look, uh, took a look inside the cockpit just to see if any of the displays or gauges, uh, switches and controls looked any different. And to be honest with you, everything looked pretty much the same at 16x and at uh, having an isotropic filtering off. Now, I wouldn't recommend turning it off because it's there for a reason. And I don't think that, yes, it, I mean, it can take uh, up a lot of memory, I guess, uh, theoretically. It, for my particular system, it didn't really seem to affect things too, too much. So what I would uh, likely do is keep it where I was at. Uh, I had it at 4X and it really wasn't any different uh, than either on off or 16X, but at least it's there and giving me some support. Um, and hoping, uh, hopefully improving my visuals in that regard. So I'm going to let the video play out so you can go ahead and watch the landing on the aircraft carrier and take a look inside the cockpit if you like so that you can compare uh, what the settings look like with off and at 16 times. Uh, again, at the end, if uh, you found this video helpful, please give me a subscribe, like, leave a comment, anything, uh, just so that uh, I'm getting some feedback and uh, let me know how you're liking these videos. And please feel free to check out some of my other DCS World videos. Uh, I've got a pretty comprehensive set of the VR settings uh, already uh, on board, and uh, there's still more to come. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in game.